Chapter 4 Ferdinand, Mighty Ferdinand. Ferdinand? Huh. I don't know. All right. The castle's ready and things are coming along nicely, which means it's time to get down to the business of running your new nation. We need to set up all the various ministries this place will need to grow into a fully fledged kingdom. We'll need to assign the right people to do the right tasks. Aye, lad. The uh, controlled chaos of the Sky Pirates ain't for everybody. <laughs> I've taken a census of all your citizens and listed who's killed at what. Deciding who will work where is up to you, though. It's a job for the king. So, I'll need to think about which roles will suit particular people, and assign them accordingly? That's right. Give it a try. You'll learn fastest by doing. Just take a seat on your throne and start giving some orders. <laughs> Just take a seat? Are oh, people we're... gonna... Oh, hello. Huh. Managing your kingdom, Evan can sit down on his throne in Evermore Castle and issue orders to his subjects in order to help his kingdom grow and prosper. And in turn makes his adventure easier by building facilities, assigning citizens to run them, and having them carry out research into new technologies and techniques. You can open up a world of possibilities. Facilities include shops, which are which uh, where unique items can be bought, outfitters that can make all kinds of clothes and armor, and many others. Get building and make ever more amazing. Kings Guilders. Kings Guilders are the currency of. Hiccups of kingdom move. <laughs> you eat too eh. fast. Yeah, management. And are entirely separate from the guilders Evan and his friends can earn elsewhere. They're necessary for every step of kingdom building, from creating new facilities to upgrading existing facilities to carrying out research at said facilities. Why not claim your first clutch of KG? Go to your kingdom coffers and grab them. Yoink. Huh. The tireless efforts of your citizens have earned you a total of. Something. 2,500. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They'll gradually accumulate as your citizens go about their business, and you can collect them from your kingdom's coffers as and when you need them. You'll be surprised at how quickly they can build up, especially once your kingdom's influence starts to grow. So check back regularly and see how things are looking. You may also be able to earn extra King's Guilder by solving the various day-to-day -day problems of your beloved citizens. You can also see how many King's Guilders you have collected in the main menu, so you don't have to go back to Evermore to check every single time. Building and developing facilities. All right, it's time to take your hard-earned King's Guilders and spend them on building a new facility. You can select and build your facilities in your kingdom. Uh, your kingdom will need by selecting Manage Your Kingdom from the menu. Building them will cost King's Guilders. Each and every facility can have a hugely beneficial effect, from opening up new avenues of research to making new items available. So be sure to consider each one carefully. And don't forget, you can also improve the effects of existing facilities by upgrading them. One particularly helpful facility to upgrade is your castle, as doing so will benefit the entire ca kingdom, broadening its borders so that even more facilities can be built. But leveling up your castle will cost quite a few king's guilders, trapping your influence with a few basic facilities to first improve your coffer, uh, coffer filling capabilities. First thing you'll need to do is select Manage Your Kingdom, and build the facilities of each of the four ministries surrounding the castle. Okay, Manage Your Kingdom. Okay. Okay, so we have unused can build ever more spell works. Can research spells and learn and improve spells. Okay, sure. Spell works completed. Okay. So ever more outfitters, research armor, make and improve armor. <laughs> Looks like a helmet. Yeah, it's a helmet. That's cute. Even has a little flag on top. I like that. Okay. Unused research. Evermore weapon workshop. So same thing as the armor one. Yeah, so we got a moat. But I guess it's actually more so that we built the castle on the moat. On the, on the river. water? Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess works. That must have been a pain. Yep. Alright. And Higglery. That's the one. So we can research Higgledies and improve Higgledies. And make them too. Wow. Breed for me, creatures. Ah. 
<laughs> okay. Once your facilities are up and running, you'll need to set them to work on some research. Most facilities can carry out research of some kind. When did this become a civilization game? I told you that there was going to be a certain point where there was going to be a lot of management that you so can check out So they have Shogun during. Total War, Civilization, like general RPG collectathon. Yeah. Yes. They're really trying to mash a lot in here. At least it seems like they all kind of tie together, sort of. Mm -hmm. I just hope that this isn't something that we only come up come back to every once in a while and completely forget about. What I might adventures. do is we'll do we'll start you and end manage. every we'll we'll start and end every episode in the castle or episode every like recording session or maybe like once an hour or two hours or something. Really just depends on how much money uh we collect. Okay, research a given topic, you'll need personnel with enough IQ, King's Guilders got it. Takes time, research a given topic 100%. Takes time. Okay. Figured as much. Assigning personnel to facilities. So we have war, ingenuity, sprite craft, and con conjury. Hmm. Alright, so different characters fit Every different tasks different. better. They have different IQs for different skills. Each uh, citizen will have their own special skills as an individual. Put them on different things for an extra benefit. Try assigning some personnel to the weapons workshop. To beginning the research on the basic... Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so see who's a best for whom. Okay, personnel. We have... Uh, so this is weapons. Okay, so... It looks like, uh, I'm gonna back out just for a second. I wanna see what the... Armor. Okay, so it's only letting me look at this, which is less helpful. I assume the hammer... The cross swords is weapons, and the hammer is, uh... Is building. Well, Batu. Okay. Bad okay. reputation. A history of gleeful violence that can boost the hunting lodge's productivity. Oh, so what's Chingus then? Or are you just gonna put all of them on here? I think so. I think we're supposed to. Animal They're all specifically magnetism? focused on this. Wait, so that's about ranches. Can you take people off of these? Yeah, facilities? oh yeah, you can on the sign. And Explorers Guild. Yeah. Looks like we have a lot of things to build. Oh right. We should probably research something. Melee weapon development. Will take about a minute. <laughs> so this might actually be something that I just leave running. Okay. Uh off camera. Or not off camera, but like but when I'm doing other stuff. Mm-hmm. Research complete. Okay. Good, and it looks like your research is complete, but running a kingdom isn't about research. Certain facilities, such as farms and mines, will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. Some items gathered can be collected from your kingdom stores, which are accessible from the kingdom menu. Don't forget to claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Your stores can only hold so much, so you'll need to empty them regularly in order for your item-producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. Kingdom management is complex business. We've covered the basics here. Don't be afraid to go over them. Go to the help library. Gotcha. Just let me loose. I can figure it out. <laughs> oh, get back on the throne, you schlub. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he just finished a research. So there's ministries in charge of weapons and armor. And one in charge of magic. And even one for Higgledies? There are. Speaking of which, we don't have anybody skilled in Higgledy management to head up that team right now. Short, uh, sprite savvy, are we? What about Martha? We are, and without it, we won't be making any developments in that area anytime soon. What we need to do is recruit somebody. We'll just have to think of the right person. Ah! What about Auntie Martha? Who's she when she's at home? Wait, what? What's going I on? I don't know. Who's That's a weird when phrase. Who's she she's at home? What is that supposed to mean? Who's she when she's at home? A friend we made on the way to Cloud Coil Canyon. I doubt anybody knows more about the little guys than she does. Perfect. Then let's go and speak to her right away. To Martha's cottage. No. Back on your freaking throne. Got some other stuff to spend and deal with. Okay, I got 30. Hey. 
So it looks like we get. Just put, don't hand it to me. I didn't know if you needed more to drink. Nah, I had some to. I I got a glass of milk. I got milk. I see. Okay. So citizens, we've got Tani, Batu, Nile, Knut, Kunbish, <laughs> Chingus, Geral, and Floyd. Uh, let's see facilities. We have Evermore Castle workshop. Okay, the rest of these are unused. Oh boy, that's a lot. Research. Whoa. Well, shall we work on level two? No, we don't have enough money for that anymore. Yeah, let's go see what we what can do second? for other. Are there other plots of land? Yeah. So we can build uh, Evermore Barracks, a mining cap, gather ores, motor water, crystals, and prisms. Hmm. I wish it would actually just give me like a list instead. Well, let's keep hovering over them. each one of these spots can be turned into a thing. Well, that's the Explorer's Guild, so that's a good place for Kunish. Yes. Um... What I wanted to look into is seeing if there's anything that increases the amount of money we get. Furs, leathers, okay, hunting. Meat, dairy products, eggs. Ranch. Grains and vegetables. So the Explorer's Guild is probably going to be the next thing I build. I just wanted to see if I could get any more, like, financial boosting industries. Mm -hmm. Medicine and met. Medicine and... Some myrtles? Myrtle. Materials. Materials. Gather fish and whatnot, ingredients, cloth, cook and buy food. Well, the food, fun, fun food would guy. be a place for the cat. Floyd? Because he's a baker, right? Get better battle rewards. Hmm. A Hubble bubblery. Let's build this. But what about the places that we know we have personnel for? Oh, I'm just going to build it. We've got We've got some money. Okay. Money magnetism. More money in battle. Well, that always helps. Oh, you need personnel first. Yeah. Okay. Well, isn't she good shopkeep? Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna chuck... But Floyd is a cook. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna be building the kitchen immediately. You're not building the kitchen? No. It'll be helpful, but uh, more money, money magnetism seems really helpful. Okay. Well, what about the Explorers Guild? For yeah, that's Kunish? what I was going to work on. The barracks is the... Oh, that's the mining camp. There it is. Okay. So, research. Brisk stroll. Oh. Spring to your step allows you to go faster. Yep. Smashing objects more fun. Yield more gilders. And increases size of stores. These are kind of expensive, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, personnel. So, Kunbish, I'm gonna move over. Mm-hmm. Tawny. She's from mining camps, though. Mm-hmm. And... Not great, but I'm gonna move Batu over. Just because we're not doing any research at the, uh, weapon thing, anyway. Uh... Well, we can really only afford Brisk Stroll. Mm -hmm. What? Take 37 minutes. That's fine. Not yet met. Oh, I need a staff member that knows outdoorsiness. Oh. Well, outdoorsman, wasn't that the other dude? Mm, no, I don't think I... Let me check. I thought it was the wood... No. Wait, no, Neal. Look at him. Woodsman's eye. Oh, it's Lumberyard. But nobody knows outdoorsiness. Oh. Um. Yeah. So we're going to have to do other things first. We're just going to need to get more people in general. Yep. Well, what's the other things we can do? Personnel. Well, we already have him assigned to the other weapons But place. I can move him around. Like, eventually we'll... Uh, we, I won't be cycling people. Uh, but I figure we might as well research level 1 armor development. Mm -hmm. So this is the spell works. Research. We have level 1, level 2. Efficient. Okay, so we're probably going to want to save up for the efficient spell development. Okay. 
Uh, weapons workshop we've checked, and the Higlery we're about we're about to work on anyway. We need to get Martha for that. Yep. So how to cook up the best of all Higgledies? Huh. Huh? Okay. You cook Higgledies? I guess so. Poor creatures. Oh man. We do collect a fair amount of money though. Hey. Like fairly quick. Like just being here, we've gone. We've gotten another hundred and thirty. Uh, so let's go back to the throne room. Because now we've got something else to manage that we've been putting off for a while. Mm-hmm. Leaf book! Oh, no. Oh, man. There's a lot of leaf book. Look! I'm getting better at using leaf book. Now, I can take much nicer pictures. Here's one of the tents we've been living in. Amazing, right? Nice work, Mrs. Tawny. So, you're a leaf book, too, Kumdwish. Aye, oh, that I am. If you want any tips, just ask. Thanks, I might just do that. Yar, look what I found while I was having a little poke around the forest of Neil. Tis a magnificent mushroom in all her glory. She sprays out little swabs called Scorchino that fight alongside her. Tis good to see the little ones sticking up for the old ma. Ha <laughs> ha! Another great shot. Magnificent, are you sure? It's impressive, sure enough. Ha! You have truly mastered your captured its spirit. <laughs> I don't like the mom shroom. Liking it anyway. <laughs> There's a right nasty piece of work in it. The waters around Capstan's been disturbing a piece. Me and the lads are gonna track it down and give it a wallop in an improper like yar. <laughs> I didn't read like any of that, but that's fine. Achu. Really? Gesundheit. Oh, Lady Luck. How can you bring so much misfortune? You have rolled yet another six, and the taxes must rise once again. I do not know how much more of this we can take. I truly feel... I truly, I feel your pain. If Lady Luck has ordained it, we must obey. Seems like Goldpa is short on luck lately. You liked it? Uh... Fine. There's, there's no, like, thumbs down? Nope. Okay. Peachy? Wait, Achu, Peachy? Like, this is sort of... Goldpaw had weird names. Remember Longmane? Uh, yeah. And Longfang? But it seems like a lot of food. And Pugnacious? Well, Pugnacious makes sense, but... Perhaps I was mistaken. But I could have sworn I just saw none other than Prince Evan of Ding Dong Dell in Fortune Square. I only saw him from behind, but I'm almost certain it was him. It must be him. Look at those ears. Or somebody else dressed up just like him. I heard he had been killed in a coop. Exactly. It is not him. It cannot be. Yar, I snapped this, this chap in the calm lands. And he is one I'm mighty proud of. I can't get enough of this picture. I can't tell from this angle. But manticores have tails with snakes' heads on them. Amazing. I'm sure you'll agree. Wow. Are you a professional photographer? Look at those horns. I'd be too scared to get so close. Aye, you'd be wise to keep your distance. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. The same guy. I was mad I, for monsters. Aye, you'd be wise to keep your distance. <laughs> I'm going to like that. Be cheeky. Grumpy gambler. Pound about town 888? Never have I witnessed someone gamble like the grumpy old man I saw in the casino. No matter how many times he lost, he just kept going. I admire his optimism, but I fear having such an enormous do-will squawking at me all day would be too much to bear. <laughs> Liking that. I'm still finding it difficult to accept that I what I have just seen. A party of outsiders put the Grand High Roller himself on trial, and it turns out they're right. He's been manipulating the dice and deceiving us all. I truly, truly do not know what to believe. I heard the dice in the casino are loaded too. Surely you're not serious. Truly, this is a disgrace. How could the Grand High Roller do this? He has made fools of us all. I'm still reeling from the shock. Liking that. It was incredible. From out of nowhere, Longfang suddenly appeared from the sky. I never thought I'd see a kingmaker in the flesh. It didn't stay long, but I'm truly grateful to have witnessed su such an event. Oh, you have captured an incredible scene. But what was Longfang doing? 
It seems he appeared right after the trial. You can't keep a good king down, it seems. And sure enough, Evans bounced back and building a brand new kingdom called Evermore, with a little help from his faithful friend Roland. I don't know about you, but I for one am expecting great things. Wow, wouldn't the mouse people be all on that? Seeing him on Leaf Book? Yeah, I, yeah. Trying to kill him? Yay, Prince Evan's alive! Seriously, wow, just wow! I am ashamed to say I was sure he was dead. The person who saw him earlier was right. He's building a new kingdom, really? So he's planning to get Ding Dong Daddle back? There was more... Oh, there was? Shoot. Dang it. Okay, so liking it apparently Evermore resets a, it. Yeah. Evermore is a fine name for a kingdom. That's all. No, 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 no. Or, but really? a kingdom needs a kingmaker. A kingdom needs a kingmaker, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I see. Indeed. But what's he planning to do about that? And then the one you read. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. Oh, the but, dice factory. Uh, it was guy? A guy? It was a guy. All the okay. ones that were like that were guys. After... After discussing the matter with Neil, we've decided to leave the dice factory as it is in case any curious visitors would like to look around. We hope it will serve to educate future generations about this deeply regrettable episode. Take a good look at this photo! I've hidden something special! Uh, I've hidden something special. It's up to you to find it! First person to track it down, down the treasure gets to keep it. So, come on, what are you waiting for? Where is it? You have to tell us! Couldn't you give us a little hint? What have you hidden? Tell us. I know where that is. You do? Yep. All right. You want that treasure, don't you? Yep. All right. So now that we've wasted a little bit of time. Uh, I guess that's not that much. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, you get to be a chippy. Look at this. Run around town. Making and improving equipment. Oh. You can make equip weapons this at the weapon workshop. Yeah. So the range of each item is available. You need the right materials, catalysts. You can also use these same facilities to improve existing equipment. Prove the right equip uh, right aspects of each piece of equipment. Physical and magical attack of your weapons. Be aware that the item can only be upgraded a certain amount of times. Okay. Let's try improving weapons. Because I've got some like high-end high ish stuff that could maybe be scaled up. Uh, mm. But not these. I don't have enough materials. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's go back up to this. Acquired in. Oh, it even tells me where I can get these. I found a Platinum Axe. Have you used it on someone? Uh, yeah. I've been, I mean, I've been using a couple. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is probably my strongest. So... Also, axe is a platinum? That would be insanely expensive. Does that only increase the damage by one? Wow. Why would I ever do this? That's really bad. Well, maybe you need to do a lot of upgrades to this before it can craft weapons that are better than the weapons that are out in the field. I guess so, but like, I, I meant the upgrade system. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yes. So he's talking about recipes. Yeah, so mm. we just bring him ingredients and it'll cook things up. I'm zoning out a little bit because this is really long. Okay, and it'll tell us how to do it later. Are you ready to order? Okay, so he can cook things. Baked bread. I think Take we'll leave that alone. Cancel. Okay, so what else do we have? I don't really want to do too much. I just wanted to look at a couple of things. Especially because we need to find Martha. Yep. Okay, learning and improving magic. All right. New spells can be learned. Existing spells improved. All spells learned here are the kind that can be assigned to the skill palette in battle. With equipment, acquiring new spells requires certain materials. Gotcha. Good idea. Broaden and strengthen your repertoires. Gotcha. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we can do anything with this right now. Yeah, definitely can't. Stop that. 
Sorry. Look. It's a game feature. You can suck it up for a little I while. I don't like games where you're just building and crafting all the time. How, like now how do I leave? Oh, Managed Kingdom. Uh, I like story. This doesn't further how the does story. I, how do I leave? Maybe I have go to go back to the throne. Or maybe I just walk out. Like this is, oh. That's the front gate. Yeah, so we just walk out. That's what you're little city looks like on the map I suppose. castle looked a lot looks a lot bigger on the outside all right and as you upgrade it it's probably gonna look even fancier than yes. just the wood that it currently is okay so how about let's start with cloud coil canyon i think it's just sidewinder gorge might not be the right side oh yeah. so you're going Wait, who's that? Hey there. Wait, was that just a deep voice woman? Yeah. Musical Sky Pirate. Had a bard visit these parts not long ago. Back with a name that's longer in me spelled Blessed Arn. But what talent, are? I still hear them bewitching songs in me dreams at night. Arr, but that blessed name of his. Longer in me arm it was. Seen Don Wari be happy. Don't worry, be happy? What? Don't worry, be happy. Oh, really? Don't worry, be happy. Yep. Really? Something or other to fit, to bend your mind into knots. Weird. Eddie. Or to fit your mind into knots. Sounds like all the pirates are just really piratey. And I should remember that from now on. Extremely piratey. <laughs> Yar. Piratey. You must only speak in a piratical accent for a while. <laughs> you need some practice before you can speak the lingo. <laughs> it really makes me wonder if... Is the pirate accent just another more like colloquial Whoa. version of British or... Did being on boats and being nothing. amongst a bunch of... Me guess it's a fabrication <laughs> made up by the movies. Damned Hollywood, ruining our glorious histories. With their falsehoods and their, their well, strange storytelling and their special effects and their Han Solos and their... Just keeps going forever. <laughs> All right, so now I can fight this guy fairly effectively. He has left the building. Still pretty tough, but uh, you're gonna get him. Yeah. Now See, where's that really tree? Less dangerous. I think it's. I think the the tree in question is actually in the uh, far reach of this section. Oh, do we have anything to? Oh, did you switch out the higgledies so that you can feed the plant? It's over there. It's not the hi higgledies. It's a spell. I think it's over there. We can actually check. It might actually be this this tree here. No, it had more branches. Oh, okay, more branches. And there's a waterfall. What? In the background, see? Oh, yeah, so there is. We need to find a place with a waterfall. Well, we can get up there now, right? Probably. Possibly. We need to water that plant. Nope. Still can't do anything with what? that. What? No. Yeah. We need that. We need to get to a waterfall. Okay. Well. And it's not around yeah, here. Yeah, I'm. I'm wrong. I thought it was right there. All right. There's the waterfall. Oh. Huh. What's on the opposite side? I don't know. A place we've never been to before. Oh, maybe where we got captured. There was a whole area there that we never actually checked out. Like, we had the waterfall in front of us, but it was all the way at the other side. Try Belly Wriggle Bluff. We can also just run, roll through the whole thing. Because I don't... The, we saw the waterfall, though. We did. Where was but it? But it was in the distance. Mm hmm. 
I was just saying that we go in the direction of it. Well, when that's we where we were over there. Really? Yeah. That see that uh, that light spot there? That's the uh, that's the para plant to get up. So where's what, the waterfall? I don't know. It's somewhere up ahead. Probably just can't see it from this angle. Okay. Well, there's the wind. Um, yeah. Pedal. <sighs> yeah. So it's probably around the corner. Probably where we got nabbed by the sky pirates originally. Okay. Is my assumption. Let's go see. And then the other thing I want to do is actually get the, um... Remember there was that, like, stack of mushrooms? Kind of on the way to the wyvern area? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted to get that, if I could. Really? I don't see any waterfalls around here either. Wait, is that a good tree? Is that a good tree? No. Or do you mean there, that one? There! Yeah. That one. Yeah, that's the one. No, it's the one on the opposite side. Waterfalls on the left. Right. Left. Yeah, because we never actually spent any time around here. Mm-hmm. That's because we got captured. There it is. That's the treasure? We obtained a mage's ring. Ooh, nice. Yeah, but so we got captured here. So we never actually got to see what was in this area. Might as well take a look while we're here. I'm itchy today. <laughs> Uh no, I we have been This just goes up to the pirate. Yeah. Well area. we got the we got the treasure at the very least. I like it how since you've completely outlevered the out leveled these creatures. I've out levered not them. <laughs> My lever is long and functional. Uh mm. that doesn't sound good. Do you hear that, ladies? <laughs> we need your Hey. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what you use levers on anymore, really. Goodness sake. Oh, is that a... Is that oh, a no, that's stone? A sa that's a safe stone. That's a safe spot. Well, why don't we go to Martha? Well, no, there's there's a whole area to explore here. Wait, what was the other area Wait, that you are Look at this. Yeah, we've oh. never been this way. Really? I yeah. thought that these sparkles... These don't respawn, do they? Um... No, you're right. Wait, was that a... Angel's Angel tear. Angel tear. It's just a revival item. Phoenix down. Okay. Nothing too fancy, but helpful nonetheless. Just gonna save while we're here. We haven't saved in a while. We. Yeah, there's. Oh, I see. It's just an environment exit. Mm hmm. Which probably brings us to the. Yeah, the overworld. Well, you know what? This is exactly canyon. where I wanted to be anyway. Kind of. Oh. Okay, so we're looking for... Well, Martha is all the way out in the field. Yeah, but I'm not going for Martha. Oh, okay. Not yet, anyway. I want to go this way. Oh, good. These guys won't bother me at all. Okay, good. Really? I thought you already went down there. We did. There are some mushrooms, remember? Near the, uh... Whoops. Near the Wyvern Cave. I forget to go check that out. Okay. Uh, get that out. Get that open. Um, and see what's like up top. If we're lucky, it'll be something interesting. The speed increase over the overworld would be really nice. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we need a another NPC, Mommy. and I'm not actually sure when we get them. Mm. Like, I don't know how recruitment is handled. Probably just completion of the game, going from one realm to the next. I bet a lot of it up. is optional, though. There's no way that they're going to turn it into a main plot device to just recruit a bunch of random people. No, that's true. It'll probably be one of those where it's like you kind of have to do it occasionally to get somebody. Uh, but it's... Oh. What? Whoops. Excuse me, I have to murder some creatures. <laughs> Eat this! I, I win. <laughs> they are uh, not very strong at this point. Okay, anyway, the mushrooms were right ah, here. Yeah. those mushrooms. I think there have been Probably a couple other... Probably all over Martha's Field there's going to be things like that. 
Uh, there's gonna be a couple, yeah. It'd be nice if once we unlocked the ability, it would actually mark on the map mm -hmm. where these things were. Yeah, this, there's just several chests here. I mean, there's one up the hill that you won't be able to get to. We got a songbook, songbook number, number 19. 19. And yeah, there's still a bunch of stuff further up the hill that I can't get. Ooh. Glowproof cloak? Yep. And then whatever the rest of this stuff is for, we probably get a... A, a jumping ability or flying ability. I get the feeling we get the ability to fly later. Mm-hmm. That's the Cradle of Light. Ah. Yeah, I bet we get the ability to fly later. There's there's too much ground that is currently unreachable. Mm-hmm. Um... Hmm. Give me a second. Looks like the Heartlands. Is that what they were doing? Calling it the Heartlands? It looks like Prairie. Yeah. Technically isn't where we are considered the Heartland now. Uh, At least of the ish. US. Yeah, kind of. Apparently we're actually missing a warp point in the forest too. Oh. oh, I know where it is. Okay. Uh, t -t 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 -t. The other thing oh, I was going to... Oh, look gonna... at those waterfalls on the left. They're so pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. The other thing I was going to do is quickly run over and uh, pick a fight with that special monster. Which special monster? Oh, the little goop? You think yeah, you're high enough level for it? I'm the same level as it now. Uh -huh. I never grabbed this. How did I never grab? I don't know how I didn't see that coming through, honestly. It was blue and glowing. Much of the uh, bioluminescence in this area is also blue. True. I'm gonna quickly. There's a lot to look at, unfortunately. Mm hmm. And a lot of ground to travel. It would. I don't I'm know. I'm surprised you just walked past that sparkle. I don't. <laughs> I've. I've now discovered that I don't need that stuff to make things, uh -huh. like buildings, which is the important stuff. I only need it for like gear upgrades. And Peachy like... players punch. Oh wait, this building looks like it's actually whole. Yeah. Mm. So this is probably another one of those like. Uh... Whoa. Never mind. Back. I do like these, like, random, as far as I can tell, non-plot-specific locations. I'm betting that manticore is, uh, really? way high level. Ooh. Oh, and it's also a dark one. What level is he, though? Just, just out of cute Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's, it's a dark manticore. Yes, it's, it's the dark one. Oh, uh, you can't tell the dark ones before you go in. Oh. What level were they? Eh, 35, 37. Still a ways away. Yeah, it's a little little high before we're gonna we're gonna be able to fight those guys. Just Dark Souls it. Unfortunately this game does the classic RPG thing that if you're under leveled you do less damage. Which sucks. Cause yeah, if I if I could actually like just skill my way through some of those fights, I absolutely would try. Did you go under the waterfall? Uh there? Yeah. No. I don't think I'm going to be able to yet. Well, I think we need a boat. Oh, right. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, look at that river. We need uh, we need some kind of boat. Or a fish person to join you. There's a, at this point... There's you... a cave over there, though. Oh. Let's go check out the cave. At this point, you found mouse people, cat people, dog people, sort of kind of lizard people. 